Martin's babe, mirror blame, don't insane, but the memory remains. Hey guys, Swordsman here. Uh, this video, I thought I would uh, talk about some memories, gaming memories, you may have noticed from the title. Uh, so it seemed only fitting to go with Metallica's, but the memory remains, or memory remains, whatever. And uh, I really like that song, by the way. And I just wanted to uh, talk about some memories that have been getting kicked back up now that I've been playing some COD 4 lately. NW2's kind of run its course for me. Almost feels like even more of a chore now than it ever was to play, even though, I don't know, MW2 is, I don't know. But uh, let's talk about good gaming memories. What is your best gaming memory? And that for me, it's hard for me to even nail down, but, so I'm going to talk about my best FPS memory. And that is when I had uh, finally been talking to getting an Xbox, and by the way, this gameplay starts off terrible, but... Uh, I pick it up a little bit. And so, I was talking to getting an Xbox, because my buddies had an Xbox, and I just couldn't afford to keep upgrading my PC continuously in order to play these new wave of games that were coming out. And uh, so, Buddy Lazy Boy's like, dude, you gotta get an Xbox. There's this Call of Duty 4 game, you gotta play it, you've gotta play it. I'm like, well, I played Call of Duty 1 and 2 on the PC, those were great. And he goes, dude, screw that, that's nothing, come play Call of Duty 4. And so, uh, I got it, and this was like a whole new world that I didn't really know existed, and I just love this game. Now, again, you guys know for the most part, I'm not as hardcore of a gamer as some of you guys are. I, uh, play a bit less. My playtime on Call of Duty 4 to this day, I think it's only like 14 days played. But, uh, that said, it's still more than any other Call of Duty game. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this game, it's like going back and reliving old memories, even though it's not quite the same as it used to be, but I look upon it fondly every time I do go back. And it's just a good feeling to get back in there that caused, into a game that caused some really good memories where I made some great friends, some of them I still play with from one of the very early stages of uh, COD 4. So, uh, just a good memory to have, I think. But uh, this game, it's its not a perfect game, but it is the measuring stick to which I measure all other Call of Duty titles. I, I'm going to objectively say that's probably not fair, but it, it's just how it is to me. If you're a Call of Duty or really any FPS title, you have to live up to the experiences I had in Call of Duty 4. Now, that is probably completely unfair because nothing can recreate your first FPS experience that you really got hooked on. In my case, this was the uh, first console FPS that I got hooked on. There was, of course, PC uh, games like Battlefield and... Uh, anyone remember the old Delta Force on PC? Oh my god, it was terrible, but I loved the hell out of that when I was a kid. I loved that game. Anyone remember that? Okay, off topic, but... Uh, so, while you end up getting thinking about memories of Call of Duty 4, you kind of transition yourself into thinking about what sort of an experience uh, Black Ops will be providing, and I gotta say, I'm honestly going into it optimistic. I, I actually feel myself wanting to play it. I feel myself curious about it, hopeful for it. And that's not something I had with MW2. There was a lot more apprehension with MW2 than I have for Black Ops. I don't know if that's because I become jaded and cynical because of MW2, but I don't know. I remember watching like the reveals of MW2. It was just like, oh my god, too much, too much. They, they, they can't put all this stuff into it. It's going to get so confusing and random. And Now, it seems like maybe Black Ops has found that balance, and maybe I'll be in for some uh, really good memories here in a couple, well, what, ten days now, I think? So, I thought that'd be... Uh, Worthy commentary topic for a quick uh, gameplay here on Backlot Call of Duty 4. And again, if any of you guys are ever struggling in an FPS and you're just kind of feeling down, go pop in Call of Duty 4 and go uh, kill the snipers. You will instantly feel better about your skills. Some of these guys were terrible. But uh, yeah, so that shall wrap it up. Take care, guys.